So here we have a 2021 Yamaha FX HO Wave Runner. And what I want to do is put an auxiliary fuel tank on the back of the ski to increase my range. Um, there's lots of videos about this on YouTube already, lots of different ways of doing it. Um, there's a company called GC Jetfish, I think, in New Zealand, who supply a really nice metal tank that goes in the front storage compartment. Um, Watercraft Journal, they do their own kit as well with a rear mounted tank and they're great. But for me in the UK, importing these would cost quite a lot in, in shipping. So I'm going to have a crack at making my own. The idea with these systems is that as the fuel is used in the main tank of the ski, um, that creates a vacuum and by attaching the fuel line from the auxiliary tank to the breather line on the main tank, as that vacuum is created, fuel's drawn in from the auxiliary tank to replenish the, the, the main tank. Um, slight issue with that on the 2021, because in the 19 or 2019 and earlier skis, Yamaha had a bit of a problem with people getting fuel splashed back when they were refueling. And they combated this by putting a, a breather pipe on the on the fuel filler neck. Um, this means that to get that automatic fuel transfer um, with uh, with just a, a natural vacuum that's created as the fuel is used, um, we've got to block up that that breather pipe on the fuel filler neck. So the plan is to put a ball valve on this breather pipe which can be turned off when I want to use the auxiliary tank. Um, you can turn it on when you're filling um, to prevent that splashback, and then turn it off when you want to use the auxiliary tank. Um, you can see the breather line here, I've already detached it, but basically the hose from the um, auxiliary tank at the back, the supply hose, connects directly to the, uh, the, the, the breather point on the tank. Um, we're going to have our, our valve in here so that we can shut off the air to the tank and that will allow a vacuum to be created as the full fuel is um, used from the main tank and it to be drawn through from the back. I'm actually going to keep the, the, um, the original vent system. You don't have to. Um, the alternative would be to use the vent on the auxiliary tank, which is this little screw on your filler cap. By undoing that little screw, then air can get in and, uh, and uh, uh, say, prevent the vacuum being built up in this tank or when this tank is empty in, in the main tank. <coughs> I'm not a big fan of this because it's likely to get quite wet in this area when you're riding and I can envisage small amounts of water being sucked into the uh, uh, into this fuel tank. It's probably not a big issue in the in the short term um, because you're unlikely to get that transferred all the way through. It's likely you just sit in the bottom of this tank but it's it's an unnecessary risk because this tank already has a, a, a breather connected so in use we can leave this done up and I'm going to run another breather hose into the engine bay as well which will connect to the original um, breather um, uh, that we disconnected on the front of the tank. So hopefully that should all work. The next question is mounting this tank. Again, people use ratchet straps and plastic crates and some not very elegant solutions, but I've got a MIG welder and Although I haven't MIG welded stainless steel before, I'm going to have a crack at it. So we're going to make a stainless steel frame that's going to attach um, to the uh, these these bolts for the swim step. It's going to come up around the back of the ski, under the tank, and enclose the tank. And then I'm probably going to have a a connection coming to the to the towing eye to hold it in place but yeah we'll just have to see how my stainless steel mig welding goes so i'm not a welder but 
we'll see what happens. So a little bit of a change from the original plan. I was going to go and anchor the back of the holder for the fuel tank down to the swim step fixings, but I wanted something that was nice and quick to take on and off. And these bolts have all got sealant on. Um, so yeah, I sort of thought better of that and went just with the tie down straps. Um, the frame for the fuel tank, um, I've painted that, but it is stainless steel. MIG welded it up. There's quite a bit of spatter, so um, I ground ground a lot of the, the, the welds down flush and uh, yeah, painted it up so it sort of matches the ski. So quite pleased with that, shouldn't corrode at all. Um, I had to make a slight adjustment on the front. So I was gonna come to this hook here uh, with this tensioner. Um, but it just had the effect of lifting, lifting up the framework holding the tank. So we put this pillar on here. So now that this is pulling down, straps are pulling down at the back, so that the, the the framework holding the tank is pressed down on the back of the ski. We've got um, uh, um, foam pads under there, so it doesn't damage or mark the hydro turf. And it's rock solid. Absolutely rock solid. I don't think that will go anywhere. We've got two breather hoses going in under the seat. Obviously that's under seat storage compartment has to come out and you wouldn't want to flip it over. I don't think with, uh, with those pipes going in, but I've never flipped the FX. Um, I don't really ride in that sort of manner. So I'm not too concerned about that. So we've got the breather hose going down the left hand side of the engine down there that's cable tied off so it shouldn't come into contact with anything hot we've got the fuel line going down the inlet side where there isn't really anything hot up to the front so that's our breather coming from our fuel filler and we've got that shut off valve on that breather that connects to the original fitting here that's kinked but it doesn't matter because this breather's shut off anyway um, and the breather hose for the rear tank is coming in down there as I say attaches to the feed from the water separator and the breather on the top of the hull so I haven't actually had to cut any of the original pipes they've just been moved so it can all be put back there's no cuts in the hull no permanent modifications at all um and yeah we've got a 40 litre fuel tank on the back so we are yeah ready for sea trials and we'll see how that goes so lovely morning here in pool harbour we've just set off from um beta reset my fuel usage we've got the tank on the back Oh. So we're going to have some fun. So we're on our way back in now. And we've used 43 litres. We got a 99% full tank. So yeah, happy with that. All worked well. So sea trials complete. All went okay. Worked as it should. But the frame moved forward a little bit. Let's just rub that little bit of plastic on the back of the rear storage compartment. Um, I think I've just tightened it down a bit more. I think it'd be fine. I'm going to put a bit of foam on that place where that mark is just to protect the ski plastic. But yeah, other than that, it all went well.